Hi angels, welcome back to another DIY. So in this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be trying resin. So I got this resin mold from Etsy's, which I will leave the link down in the description box below. This one is a little expensive because it's big. But yeah, I got these dry flowers from Amazon. And the resins, also A and B, I got them off Amazon as well. And then this little resin kit right here, I got it as got it off amazon as well these are better because when the resin dry all you need to do is just peel it off and uh, you're good to go so yeah i just got these and it's the first time ever using them and uh, they are 10 out of 10 definitely recommend them so first thing first in one cup i'm gonna put resin a with resin what i've learned is that you have to use equal amount that it has to be the same amount of a and the exact same amount for b so I'm just checking to see how much amount that I put in there because at the side of the cup, you can see the amount, like numbers at the side of it, the numbers at the side of it. So I was just making sure that it was even up. If it's not even, the resin, the resin will not dry. So you're just going to have this watery, watery mess. It would not harden or anything. So what I personally like to do is before I mix them together, I like to mix them up individually by itself, just like smooth it out a little bit. I think resin A is a little more thicker and resin B is a little more like watery. So to each has their own. So what I decided for this one was these dry flowers that I wasn't just place them down first before I pour in the resin. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just putting the flowers all over the place so wherever you want to put them. Just getting an idea. You can just pour the resin in first and then put in the flowers but... I just did it this way just to try something new one more thing I got into resin because of TikTok I have TikTok so I kept on seeing all these resin videos like oh what is that it looks so cool and now I'm addicted so get ready to see a lot of resin on my channel yippee 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 say yep Placing the flowers all over the place. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, one more thing. I recommend wearing the gloves while you're mixing the resin. Because it does get a little sticky. And it does get a little messy. So, put on the gloves. I didn't have any gloves. So, just had to do it with my hands. Now, it's the fun part. So resin A and resin B, we're gonna pour it to pour it together in this big cup that we have right here. This cup right here. Pouring resin A in a cup, scraping everything out because we want everything that's in there. So that's what we're doing right here. Scraping it up because it's expensive. <laughs> Now it's time to add in the second resin. I think this is resin B because it's a lot more watery. So I'm doing the same thing as before, scraping everything out so that we can get it all mixed up together. Now it's just time to mix everything together. Just mix it, mix it, mix so that you mix it properly. So keep mixing it for like a few seconds. That before when you start mixing it you should feel hard as like you're forcing it and then eventually you're supposed to feel nice and smooth so keep that in mind even though you like if i just mix it in like two seconds trust me i speed up the video so next thing is i was like hmm, maybe you should add some glitter this glitter i got from dollar general it came in a pack of like three or four not sure but i thought the glitter would have given a little more spice 
By the way, while I'm recording this, the resin has not dried yet, so I don't know how it turned out, but hopefully it turned out great. The first one that I did turned out great, so no reason why this one shouldn't as well. I decided to add more glitter in there. I wanted it to pop. Keep on mixing, make sure you're mixing it properly. And now this is where the fun begin. We are going to be pouring in the glitter. Pouring it in. So after we pour everything in and scrape every little ounce of it out, I'm going to let it dry first and then I'm going to add in a second layer because clearly it hasn't filled up all the way. So that's what I'm doing right here, adding in more resin so it can fill all the way up to the top. And for the bubbles that's inside there, I just took this little lighter right here and then just boom, all of the bubbles disappear. Remember, you don't want no bubbles, otherwise it's going to be a hold in the resin. Now it's time to demold the, the, um, the resin. So what you have to do is pull apart the sides, pull all over the sides just to loosen up the resin. You're going to hear a little tear, but don't worry, that's just the resin coming off. The next thing you're going to do after you make sure that you've demolded it properly, just pull out the resin and it should come out without no problem. So once you have demolded properly, it should just slide out of there easy, just like how it just did. But for some reason with this mold, the top part won't dry. So I'm gonna have to go back over it with a paintbrush and some extra resin and it should be good to go. Okay, so after 24 hours, this is how it turned out. I don't know what went wrong, but the top part of it is not dry, it's mushy. So I'm gonna go over it, get a paintbrush and brush over it with some resin. And hopefully it will stay together because I absolutely love it. So let's see if that works. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys by next video. Bye.